is on today's video we're gonna be painting a front bumper for an frs this one is a three stage and we're about to pull up and get the paint all right waiting for my paint to get mixed up it's a uh, ford color it's like a red this is like uh like I was, like i was telling you it's a three stage paint so i gotta throw primer and then like a silver base and then that red all right boys so um this is a pint paint should be enough for one bumper one can is like a silver and the other one is the red candy metallic you can see it right there All right, broskies, we got the Rocket Bunny front bumper all sanded down. Just gonna wash it up and she should be ready for paint. Pedal. It took me a while to sand it down because it had a lot of like scratches and uh, yeah, it's nice and smooth now. I didn't really, uh, it, it has like more, it has like some cracks on the bottom, but the homie said he has a, he has a lip, so it's gonna get covered. All right, so I put the bumper on my stands and i bolted it down just so it doesn't fall when i'm painting it go to little bolts it should be good should be good should be good all right guys so um this is a tech cloth this is the box right there this basically is kind of like sticky it removes most of like the uh the grease in our hands it picks up like any dirt particles check it out i gave it a wipe down with a regular microfiber but check how this one you're gonna be able to see uh the smaller particles get picked up with this tech cloth after this step, I'm gonna spray it down with some Bulldog. It's it's an adhesive promoter, and it's gonna help make the paint stick to the bumper. It's really good on like flexible bumpers, cause it sticks. I don't know if you guys seen uh, when when you get hit on your bumper and it makes like an indent. It doesn't crack the paint. Well, that adhesive promoter. That's what it basically does. It prevents it from like cracking and uh, it sticks pretty good to bumpers this is a fiberglass bumper we're gonna use it as well on this one caricialo you can see I actually did a pretty good job on the with the microfiber. It still has some dirt look. Barely see it. So okay. Should be good to go. This is a spray I use, adhesion promoter, makes paint stick, designed for spot repair, ready for paint in five minutes. So I'm going to spray it down on the whole bumper and then while we mix our paint, we'll let it sit. Gotta give it that nice Manuela shake. Okay. 
This spray can alone is like 30 bucks. Sheesh. Nice and wet. Throw a little extra on the bottom. That's where uh, mostly all the damage happens, all the chips. Should be good. Fuck it, a little overkill, but doesn't hurt to add enough. All right, let's mix our paint. So here we have uh, two cans. This is a three-stage paint job. It's gonna be a three-stage. Uh, our base is gonna be kind of like, I think it's like a brown or silver, and then our red, red candy metallic, and then our clear coat, so clear coat. So it's gonna make it a three-stage paint job. So let's get it, let's start opening this up. All right, I just opened the uh, pint cans. And uh, if you guys can take a quick guess, which one am I gonna spray first? The solid one or the metallic one? <laughs> oh, damn. I uh, had to call my guy and uh, it turns out that we have to use this is gonna be our base, and then this is gonna be our tint. So we're gonna throw the metallic one first, and then we throw the red one solid on top. <laughs> I was gonna start throwing this one first. Luckily, I called my guy and we cleared it up. So yeah, we're gonna start with this one, and then we'll throw this one. guys we're gonna check out the bumper oh, lo cerré. <laughs> i closed it because she opens the door and then she'll mess up my paint job i don't know about you guys but this color came out amazing it looks pretty fire You'll see. I think I did a really good job. I wish I could paint my 370Z this color. It's pretty sick, but it's really expensive. Just to do this bumper, the paint alone, the two little cups, the two little pints, um, it cost me a hundred bucks. That's not including the clear coat. So just think about it. It's, it's gonna be pricey. Like if I do it myself, well, I'm not gonna charge myself, right? But if just material alone, I'm pretty sure it's gonna cost like 
800 bucks just to do my car and i'm not down for that when i can do a black and uh flake color for like 200 bucks you know so 600 dollar difference la neta la cabron all right broskies i'm gonna end the video right here i hope you guys made it all the way to the end and i hope you guys are enjoying the video so far i am starting to film a lot more and i just hope you guys enjoy them